The first days and weeks with a newborn can be proper roller coasters. Emotions are all over the place. And on top of that, there are the practical things. Loads of tasks, and they cannot be postponed. No matter how they feel, there are things that must be done over and over and over again. Nappy changing, feeding, going for walks, and then again, nappy changing, feeding, going for walks. And sleeping, maybe, who knows when. Nobody is there to see all of that. And even if someone was there, there wouldn't be anything magnificent to witness, really. But what if fun and connection were be hiding in plain sight? What if satisfaction and a healthy dose of pride were just in front of your eyes, waiting for you to seize them? What if you were not just cleaning a bottom, but also shaping a brain during nappy changes? What if feeds were an opportunity to build a relationship with your baby? Well, the good news is that it is so. Within the ordinary of daily care of your newborn, there is the extraordinary happening. More than one million neural connections are formed each second. And how they are formed depends, among other things, on how you interact with your baby. This gives you the tremendous power of being the facilitator of your child's potential fulfillment. But things such as looking at your baby in the eyes Holding her, copying her facial expressions have a huge impact on the development of her physical, cognitive and social skills. For instance, as you imitate your baby, you give her important information about her own face, about the movements and the expressions she is making, which will help her learn to use those to communicate. On top of that, you will teach your baby plenty of things about the rhythms and functioning of communication between two human beings. Um, alternating observation and action, using eye contact, using smiles to connect, and so on. So, in practical terms, for instance, when it's time to change your baby's snappy, don't rush through it, but take the time to look at your baby's eyes. Smile to her and maybe stroke her belly and her legs if she lets you know uh, that she's up for it right now and she does have ways to let you know if she likes it or not. Once the poo and we are removed, there is no hurry to put the nappy back on. You can let the skin breathe while you engage in some copying games, for example. Or maybe you can sing a little song to her. Or maybe you can share what is on your heart today. She will not understand your words in a rational way. But she will definitely get that nappy changes and other times with you are fun and sweet times where the two of you connect. And that connection and the joy and peace that often follow is her fuel for learning. And it is also your fuel for getting through another hard and exciting day of parenting. Make the most of it. You are doing such an important job. You are literally changing the world with the way you are raising your baby. On the name of the whole of society, thank you. Mm-hmm.